Santa Barbara County is taking a look at the local government's relationship with ICE and what that means for jail inmates. KSBY's Kelsey McFarland joins us live in Santa Maria where there was plenty of public input. Kelsey? Karina, that's right. Sheriff Bill Brown held a presentation to explain how much in access immigration officials have to the county jail. Meanwhile, plenty of local residents pleaded with county leaders to eliminate that relationship altogether. Santa Barbara County doesn't exactly enforce immigration directly, but they do cooperate with immigration officials. The agency sometimes requests to interview inmates upon their release from jail. According to staff reports, over 15,000 inmates of the Santa Barbara County Jail left custody in 2017. 17. Of those, about 350 inmates were actually picked up by ICE, which is about 2% of inmates released. After the California Values Act went into place, ICE's access to local jails was restricted. What we have seen is it ultimately is resulting in fewer people. Um, ICE is responding to pick up upon their release from jail uh, because they are changing their methods of operation and actually doing more field operations now than they used to. The presentation lists current charges and past convictions of 14 inmates who were reported to ICE and met the criteria for deportation. Some of those charges include lewd acts on a child under 14, assault with a deadly weapon, failure to register as, as a sex offender, and corporal injury to a spouse. One inmate was arrested as many as 52 times, and there were only two on that list who had only been arrested once. Now, Santa Maria has a larger ICE presence than other communities throughout the area because they actually have a facility within the city. Live in Santa Maria, Kelsey McFarland, KSBY News. And about 20 people gathered at the corner of Betteravia and Miller in Santa Maria to support immigrant families. The group protested the partnership between the Santa Barbara County Sheriff's Department and ICE. The group continued on to the Santa Barbara County Board of Supervisors meeting. What we're advocating is to keep our local law enforcement and sheriff's office separate from ICE, that they're not collaborating, so that families feel safe reaching out when there's uh, any kind of crime, if there's domestic violence, uh, so that families feel safe to report that to local authorities rather than be afraid that because of the legal status. And the Truth Act requires state and federal agencies to be transparent about their collaborative efforts. 